Hello there, what is going on? So as I promised in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, dockerize the Selenium environment to leverage a headless browser testing uh, experience. And uh, in this uh, <coughs> session, I'm going to show you how I have created the docker compose file I have and uh, guide you through writing a script that uses a so-called remote command executor which is going to point to the Selenium grid. So let's get to it. As you can see here I have my docker compose yaml file and in this docker compose yaml file I say that I would like to pull a docker image that is uh, going to contain the Selenium hub the Selenium Node Firefox and the Selenium Node Chrome. And here I need to specify a port for each node that is going to be a, my command executor. And uh, I'm going to create a link that is going to link that specific container to be able to use the Selenium grid. So I am using a Debian virtual machine that is running in Hyper-V and uh, I'm going to start it now and uh, this machine has two cores and two gigs of RAM it is not much but pretty well enough for what I am going to do with it if that machine starts I'm going to SSH into it and I have a static IP address assigned to it so I can refer it to by name because I have set my DNS server to be using the uh, router I have from my ISP. So what I need to have is the docker installed and the docker compose command. So let's install our docker compose. Up get install docker compose. It is not that uh, big in size, so it should be over in a minute or two. So now we have our Docker Compose installed. How will I go about this? I'm going to make a directory for my Selenium grid. And in this directory, I'm going to use the nano editor to create a docker compose.ymr file and in this file I'm going to have these commands and if I want to start this uh, let's say uh, I, if I want to compose these containers all I have to do is issue the docker compose up command this is going to go out to the repository pull the necessary layers that are needed for these uh, nodes and the Selenium grid. And after it is done, it is uh, going to start these containers. So if I did everything correctly, <coughs> let's wait for it to download. Well, it is uh, kind of uh, big in size, but after it has downloaded it, it is going to start these containers. And when you say that the hub is ready to use and the nodes are registered, I'm going to be able to check the web interface that belongs to my Selenium grid. So Selenium grid is able to, let's say, uh, pull together all those uh, nodes that you have and uh, based on the desired capabilities that you specify in a script, you must be able to send a specific test or script to use, let's say, a Firefox node, a Chrome node, a Safari node, an Internet Explorer node, a Microsoft Edge node, and uh, with this you can fine tune your testing. So let's say you have a web application and you want to make sure that uh, it works on 
every available uh, browser that you specify. So you set the script to run across all these browsers with the desired capabilities. So here we can see our web interface and if I go to the console I can see that I have my headless Chrome browser and the headless Firefox browser. Now what do I need to do in order to let's say utilize this uh, script? So you may remember from my previous video that I had this script that is going to renew my Python Anywhere subscription so my web app can uh, run three months uh, from today. If you didn't, you can check the previous video in this series. And all I need to do is first, let me check, import the so-called desired capabilities from the Selenium web driver. And uh, if this was imported, I must create my web driver with the following command, so remote and the command executor is going to point to my URL. So let me pull this URL. And this is going to have a desired capabilities argument and these are going to come from the caps variable. And these de desired capabilities are going to come from the caps equals desired capabilities Firefox. And in order to show the progress, I must, uh, let's say, provide some form of uh, logging to my console. So looking for the login element. This is the URL that you click when you hit the default page of the Python anywhere. And I'm going to bring that. I'm looking for the username field. <coughs> I am looking for the password field and I am looking for the login button. And uh, if everything goes right, as it should, I'm going to look in, going to be looking for the web URL and I'm going to print that I am looking for the renew element. So <clears throat> let me put an exclamation mark and save it. So what we see here is that is, it is going to point the web driver to use that remote, com uh, remote command uh, executor and it needs to be changed based on this URL. So this is where you can send to your node the specific commands to be executed. And uh, <clears throat> if you will, we must try and run it. So Python, greet me, and I issue this command. So let's see what is happening here. looking for the element user and password, push the login button, it pushed the URL and it is now pushing the renew element, it is waiting for five seconds and it is quitting the browser. Let's see if we have received some kind of, let's say, information as to what is happening on the 7 new hub. So, it says that it is <sighs> receiving this request and this request contains that the requester wants to use a Firefox browser 
and it is going to allocate this new session for this Firefox browser. And if you check, you can see that the platform is Linux, the version is 61, and the application name is not specified yet. So here we have our Firefox instance, and as you can see, it successfully performed these operations. So <clears throat> let's see if the renew was successful. So I have not run this script today. So if everything goes well, I should see that the current date for my expiration is three, three months from now, so it's the 6th of December. Oh my god, and it's working. So basically this is what I wanted to show you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.